Hey guys, I want to talk about a topic that I absolutely believe, um, great, now I can't go, with this computer I can't go to the other window, but I wanted to say a verse first, but I believe it's in, uh, in uh, the book of Psalms, uh, David said it, you know, it was about laying a snare for you, uh, you know, like, God keep me from the snare type situation. This is the most underestimated. Uh, why am I putting this stuff up on a, on a Christian YouTube channel? Number one, there's a lot of other Christian YouTubers who do this, and it's for good reason. We're living in a time when things are um, different. We haven't been in, um, elect, I call it electronica world, you know, when everyone's online and, and, and stuff like that. And uh, I remember, um, so I went through my own thing here. This is what it's called, what I want to talk about. It's called, and this is the most powerful and underestimated tool of the narcissist. It's called conversational inducement. What is that and why is it so powerful? Um, you know, I wouldn't have, you know, like when, when things are finally over with a narcissist and, you know, as you're getting better, you're healing, you start realizing things, you're like, oh, like, uh, I just saw this in a video. Uh, I don't watch many of those types of videos, narcissistic videos. I watch some still, but, um, you know, like, oh, you pocket dialed me. Oh, you pocket dialed me twice. Oh, Okay. You know, what's the chances of that happening, right? Not to say it can't happen, but this to me is biblical. And when I was going through what I went through, and it was God showing me my boundaries, okay? Showing me what was good and what was bad. It was like I said in another video, it was the icing on the top. But I don't mean icing, I don't mean good, okay? I mean like but it was in a way to, to teach me something, to keep my boundaries, to not look for validation in other people. And uh, so when, when I was uh, like in the process of being discarded, I discarded first. I, I knew I, 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 the mask slipped and everything. And when I did that, it was like everything reversed. You know, it was like, um, I'm like, no thanks. Yeah, no thanks, not after that. So what do they do after that? After you block them, after you do all those types of things. And, uh, and this is their most powerful tool. And it's a tool that they use, um, not just when you block them, but you know, while you're healing and you're on your journey and stuff like that, one of the things they can do is like hoover you, right? you know, an email saying, I'm, you know, maybe even saying, I'm sorry, they'll, they'll make up the, you know, things that, that, you know, I feel sorry for some people because a lot of people can be tricked and I'm not easily tricked by people like this. I'm just not. Uh, I can see right through these people, but what is a narcissist bet on? What do they bet on to get you speaking to them again? The answer is anything that they can do to get your attention. Because if they can get your attention, that means that something starts. They just need a little piece to go on. Then they work, then they work, then they work. A lot of people haven't heard of this. It's called conversational inducement. And it's called inducement because let's just say, let's just say, okay, me and, me and a woman, we're not talking. I've blocked them and all this type of stuff. And they're trying to do everything to get me to talk. They'll do anything. They'll do anything, good or bad. Um, they'll say they have an emergency or something like that. They'll, they'll do whatever it takes to get you to talk to them. 
They'll try to hurt you to get you to talk to them. They'll say they're going to commit suicide to get you to talk to them. That's called conversational inducement. And you know when, um, when you're trying to heal and stuff like that, the last thing you need is a conversation to start. Because if that happens, you go to, you know, you go to day one, unless you're healed, right? And you're just completely indifferent. This is my only warning. That's all I have to say. Be, beware. It's, it's, this is their biggest tool. If they can get you to speak to them, they're winning. They don't care if it's a negative or positive kind of energy exchange. They don't care. All they have to do is get you speaking to them and then they're in. Okay? Be careful. Be careful because um, that's what they do to get you spe speaking to them. Be before you know it, um, it's all in a cycle all over again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, uh, you know, there you go. Conversational inducement, the most underestimated unknown tool of the narcissist.